Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a replacement resin vat that I got for my Anycubic Photon Mono 4K. This particular resin vat is made by Chitu Systems, you know, same company that uh, does the Chitu Box software, and then they also do some other hardware for 3D printers, and they sell replacement parts and stuff like that. So they have this replacement resin vat that you can find on their website as well as on Amazon, and this cost me about $25. So I bought this because the FEP in my original vat had developed a small tear and resin was starting to leak through. And I was going to buy a replacement directly from Anycubic, but they use this proprietary system that is pretty wasteful. So I decided to go with something where replacing the FEP would not require replacing more than just the FEP. This one is made out of ceramic instead of plastic that the original of uh, that is made from and this one also has the FEP already installed inside of it and then they also provided a couple more pieces of FEP film just in case something goes wrong with this one I have a couple more to replace it and it will be very easy to replace uh, this FEP as well now what I also like about this particular vat and something that I wanted to continue to have carry over from the original Anycubic vat is that they have these markings here to tell you how much resin is in the vat and that's super important to me and this one looks like it goes up to maybe around 200 and maybe about 270 to 280 milliliters for this max fill line and that makes it a little bit bigger than the total volume for the original vat. It also comes with these two covers here so if you were going to store the resin for a while and you weren't going to be using it you can put this cover over the top in order to keep like dust and little particles from getting in there if it's going to be in that situation and then you can also just put this other one on the bottom you know and it might be particularly useful if you are using multiple types of resin maybe some uh, translucent resin maybe some different color resins and then if you have multiple vats you can just put these covers on it and put this away for easy storage now the one thing that this doesn't have that the Anycubic original vat has are those little holes on the side where you can twist in those thumb screws to put it into place so that's different about it but hopefully it won't make a difference as far as this sliding around it should still be able to hold on to it it just doesn't have those openings for the screws to go completely down into so I'm going to go ahead and install this on the printer I'm going to re-level it and then I'm going to print my first model in it and I'm going to let you know how it turns out I put the replacement G2 systems VAT and FEP through about 16 hours of printing and I am happy to say the prints were successful. And in fact, one thing that I thought was gonna bother me about that VAT turned out to be not a big deal at all. The fact that it doesn't have the holes for the screws to go into to keep the VAT in place, it's not a problem at all because the sides are so wide the screws even though they don't have anything to go completely down into they do their job by just holding it in place and it hasn't been a problem at all here are a couple things that I have printed since I replaced the vat here this is the lower half of a figure I'm gonna do a more complete uh, review of what I printed in the days to come once everything is done here. And just as a little teaser for what that is going to be, you can probably pretty much guess by this upper torso what this figure is. So this is gonna be a part of a larger diorama and I printed out one, two, three, four, probably about five different or actually six different pieces for this diorama set in resin and I haven't had any failed prints. So, so far, so good. And the resin that I've been using is just the regular standard any cubic gray resin. Uh, that's been the resin that I have had some of the most success for. I don't have to change any of my settings or anything like that. It's just, it's been a very good resin for me and it's reacted very well to this replacement vat and the FEP film that was in it. I didn't tune the FEP. I don't know how to do that. All I did was just put it into the uh, the printer, 
and I poured the resin into the vat and then just everything just went along as it always does. So I'm very happy about that. If you're interested in picking up this vat, uh, check the link down in the description. I'm gonna have it linked to Amazon, but then I'll also put the link to Chi2 Systems official website where you can uh, pick it up from there just in case they happen to be sold out on Amazon. But this is a good vat in my experience so far. So if you're looking for a replacement for your AnyCubic Photon Mono 4, K that and FEP, FEP film set. I do think that you should give this a shot. It's only 25 bucks. So that is it. And remember, if you want to see some more 3D printed related videos, be sure to subscribe because as I said earlier, I got one coming up very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you later.